Okay, so today we are going to do what is called the synectics model. So, y'all know I'm in this grad class. The class that I have on Thursday night is called Models of Teaching. Um, and what it does is it is allowing me, an experienced teacher, and various non-experienced teachers, it gives us different ways in which we can instruct students. Um, Y'all know a lot about those ways. You've got direct instruction where your teacher up here, he's lecturing, you're taking notes. Um, you might have group work. You might have, um, you know, something where I'm uh, uh, an I do, you do, we do type situation. So this particular model is called the synectics model. And it was created by a scientist. And it's a way to think about something that you're familiar with. It's a way to take something you're familiar with and change it. Flip it on, flip it on its head. Hold that thought. Rupert, I do. Okay. Carly, you're going home, babe. Okay. So you have in front of you the full model. This is the full process. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, you're going to do the full process with me. Uh, this is a good model to use at the end of a unit. So like we could have used this at the end of the crucible, looking at spe specific characters. Um, we could have used this um, after we did, a, um, um, oh, what's the name? The sun. Thank you, Erasing in the Sun. Um, we could have done those characters. This, you could use this with any type of situation where you're trying to think outside the box. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this right now. You've got to be very diligent with what you're doing. You've got to make sure that you stay on track because there's a lot of moving parts to this. Okay, ready? No, we're going to do it anyway. Here we go. So first thing you're going to do, the topic to be discussed. So that can be anything that you already know a lot about. So because we don't have a culminating activity at this point because we're still working towards AP testing, we're going to do something that hopefully you know a lot about. You. So, under topic to be discussed, write your name. Not your name, but your name. So, like, I'm going to write Marie. So, you write Cameron. You write Larry. Hey. Okay. No, wrong one. Ah. second row okay first row we have our topic it can be any topic but for today it's going to be you so now you're going to go down to the second row so here we have bulleted points we have animal cartoon character book occupation movie city office supply country sport junk food fruit veggie letter classroom objects circle two of those any two bullet points you want circle two of them so I'm going to circle office supply, and I'm going to circle fruit. You are going to circle whichever two you want to circle. Okay, once you have your two circled, label one of them A, and one of them B. Doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to label my fruit A and my office supply B. So far so good? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Next. So now we're going to start looking at our individual columns. So we're going to start over here on the left side. Again, we're taking a topic that we're familiar with ourselves. So in this first column, it says, list as many things as possible to describe your topic. So your topic is you. Hopefully you know something about yourself. So here's my list. 
I'm an educator. I'm a wife. I'm a mother. I'm a Red Raider. I'm a musician. I'm a reader. I am reliable. I am funny. I am compassionate. I am versatile. I am a nerd. I am thoughtful. I am a writer. I am determined. I am tired. I am colorful and I am hardworking. So I'm going to give you three minutes and you're going to write as many descriptions, adjectives, words to describe you. Okay, three minutes, words that describe you. Go. as you can to describe you. You don't know much about you, Chris? That's it. That's all you are. You're a student. Nothing else about you. Any words as you can to describe you. Would be how you spell procrastinator. L L E R E N. I'm stealing that one. <laughs> Pro, P R O, C R A S T I N A T O R. I don't know. Don't have spell check on it. Thanks. 45 seconds. Okay. I'm proud of y'all. Y'all know yourselves. I love that. Julissa's over here going on the side of the paper. It's like, oh, <laughs> woo. <laughs> Are you turning these papers into people? Yes, I'm going to turn them into my teacher for artifacts. It's okay, she didn't know, y'all. It's okay. <laughs> That's what you want my Dr. Waters to know? Okay. Okay. Who wants to share out? We're going to take two people to share out. Cameron, excellent. Okay. Read us your descriptions of yourself. Smart, tall, versatile, funny, thoughtful, a gamer, procrastinator, silly, thoughtful. Love it. Love it. Mackenzie? Oh, um, I have a lot more than that. That's fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a sister. That is you, absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so now that you have your descriptions of you, 
I want you to, we're gonna, now gonna go, we're now going to go to the second column. So we're gonna make direct analogies. So an analogy, as y'all know, is something that is similar. How are things similar? So looking at whatever you chose for A, going up here, you've got two things that are circled. You labeled one A, one B. Whichever one you labeled A, you are now going to think about how can A, like I chose fruit, how are fr what fruits are described the same way as I describe myself? Okay, so again, this is how I describe myself. And my A was fruit. So I'm thinking about fruits that could be described the same way. Fruits that are reliable, versatile, thoughtful, determined. So this is what I came up with. An apple. An apple is colorful. It's versatile. So it doesn't have to connect to every single one. Okay? A, a pomegranate. Pomegranate is versatile. A pomegranate is beautiful. It's smart to me. I think a pomegranate is very smart. Banana. Pineapple. Star fruit, mango, dragon fruit, grapes, and tomato. So again, looking at the descriptions that you wrote for yourself, and then looking at whatever you have circled for A, think of what A's can you use that can be described the same way you just described yourself. So Kyla, what did you put? What's your A? Oh, that's a movie. Movies. So what movies can be described the same way you described yourself? So let's see. So you have movies. So educated, kind, smart, God-fearing, tough, hard-working. I don't know why. Like I'm thinking, um, oh, what, what is that? Um, uh, I was just reading it yesterday. But, um, Yes, I could work. Um, he's educated, he's athletic. Um, so yeah, think of different movies that fit. Absolutely. I mean, hell, you look like a mother. Is he really? Come on. <laughs> Those count as animals? So what you gonna do then? If oh, they do it in oh, your mind, they do it in my mind. Yeah. Okay, so what sport is reliable and determined? So like basketball. What sport is tired? Golf. Uh, what sport is truthful or a brother? What's a uh, I'm thinking like boxing there. Um, what sport is smart? Yes, absolutely. Would you, yeah. you put down, bro? Yeah, golf. Golf. Golf is a sport, absolutely. Okay, three minutes. Darts is a sport. Yes, it is. Bless you, bless you. Yeah. Think about, you guys know about the line, the greens, you know about the... 
Cinderella. Because you're a princess to me. You're just very, yes. Frozen. <laughs> okay, who would like to share out their second column? Melissa. Hey, well, hold on. What was your A? I chose animals. Animals, okay. What animals do you think can be described like you? Frog, cheetah, dolphin, otter, bull, or cat. Specifically, orange cat. Okay, okay. Okay. Frank? Oh, God. What's your A? Okay, A is cartoon characters. Okay. Number one, Twilight Sparkle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Number two, Benson from Regular Show. Yes. Uh, Starfire from Teen Titans. Okay, I don't know also, that one, but I'm gonna take your Raven word. from Teen Titans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's Excellent. Premise. Excellent. Okay. So now that you've got your A, I would have said Daria. And you. <laughs> That's so oh, bad. Daria. Oh, yes, man. Okay. <laughs> so now that you have your your second column here, we're gonna go down to the third. We're gonna go to the next one. So now, of that second column. Choose one. So here's my second column again. You're going to choose one. So I'm going to choose pineapple. You're going to circle it. Choose one from your second column. Choose one from your second column. And circle it. No, just circle it. Wait, what? Second column, mm -hmm. choose one that you wrote. So I'm choosing pineapple. Okay? Now we're going to go to the third column. We are creating personal analogies. Using your A, you're going to, um, what does that feel like? So I chose a pineapple. So what does it feel like to be a pineapple? What does it feel like to be a soccer player? What does it feel like to be Daria? Uh, there you go. Yes. Okay. So here's mine. So you're going to try to put as many as you can on, on how it feels to be your A. So I put prickly, rough, wet, sweet, tart, plump, juicy, protected, cultivated, tangy, loved, strong, stout, and packed. So that's to me how it feels to be a pineapple. Okay. Okay. So how does it feel to be whatever you circled in your previous column? I have to circle one of them? Yes, so circle one of them. Ooh, which one? Yes. So you're saying how it feels my to be a frog. Okay. Which one would you like? But I would really love to I don't really know. Uh, I, I think you're Dora. Wait, I, I think you're Dora. This is apartment was so sad. So which one do you which which one do you? I feel him. Circle one. I did him. How does it feel to be an orange cat? Okay, so I'm feeling very yeah. I did not say that. Uh, you only get one. Okay, so now, how does it feel to be the movie, The Princess and the Frog? Okay, write it down. Yes. How, is, how does it feel to be a basketball? A basketball? Bro! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miss, so like, so you can put soccer? Uh -huh. put rolling yes! Put you can put rolling, black and white, um, smooth, because isn't the basketball smooth? See, like, I mean, no, the basketball, soccer ball smooth, the basketball's like rough. Oh, uh, it's textured. Texture. Textured, yes. 
<laughs> she she okay. doesn't like that picture. <laughs> We're video and I can't take that. <laughs> oh no, this is real life. They're gonna see it. And, and see that's what's even funnier is all the people that are in the class are all elementary teachers. So y'all might scare them. <laughs> exactly. Or they need to teach really, really good because if they don't, y'all end up like this. That's true. <laughs> So what does it feel like to be that thing? How would it feel to be an orange cat? I got this so far. My orange cat was fat. Taking care of. Oh, yeah. Spoiled, yes. Fluffy. She is very friendly, yes. Very smart, yeah. Adventurous, she got that. She is good with directions. But this, we're not talking about you, we're talking about Dora. So she's good with directions. Um, she got a backpack full of all sorts of fun stuff. I mean, no, I think it's hilarious. I think you asked a dumbass question. That's true. Like, where's the map? Can you say Jello? What? Jello. Good job. She speaks down to people. She's condescending. She is a little condescending. She really is, though. I know, right? Yeah. Okay. Coming back together. Okay, so now we're, we're, we're taking those adjectives. Back to me. We're taking those adjectives that you just wrote down, and now we're going to go to the next column, the compressed conflicts. So conflict means that they're against each other. Y'all know what that is? Okay, so looking at what you wrote here in your third column, you're going to try to connect those words that are opposite of each other. So for example, this again are my words that describe how it feels to be a pineapple. So looking at this list, I then find words that I believe are conflicting. So I have sweet and tart. I have prickly and loved. I have strong and plump. I have tangy and sweet and packed and protected. So looking at your list of words, find words that are opposite each other, that are conflicting with each other. And yes, you can use the words more than once. Try to come up with as many pairs as you can. So using only column three. Only column three, what words are conflicting? Opposites, yes. Yes. Think outside the box. Wait, what? So, like, 
from problem number three, we picked the words that like clash to. Yes, that what, you, you don't, don't have, need to. Have have that that clash with me? No, that clash together. Like sweet and tart are opposites. But I have both of them in my what it feels like to be a pineapple. Oh. That could work, yeah. What if you don't have any? Think outside the box. Could be, yeah. Could be. Sammy, you one minute for this one. Okay, looking at all the words you just used to describe Dora, what words are opposite each other? What words are conflicting? When um, Wilbur comes back. It is? Yes. Okay. Uh, then. <laughs> Bro, what's up to the black and white? Um, red and blue. White and black? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, did you want any of So what like, book oh, can be funny and hard work? Oh, what book can be spoiled and nurtured? Okay, so what book will you read that are funny and nurtured? Or spoiled, sorry, spoiled and nurtured? Like what's a good book? 
The Crucible is funny in Harvard. Yeah. But yeah, the play that we read. Yeah. Um, spoiled and nurturing. Hello, that's Benita from um, <laughs> um, A Raising the Sun. So expensive and wrong. Okay, so your B is fruit. So what fruit is expensive and wrong? White strawberries, square watermelons from China. They're they're. Yes, that's it. Yeah, that is. Yes, yes. Good one. Direction movie. Um, Up. Up. Oh, hey. The movie up, yes. Oh, oh. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Okay, as long as you've got a couple, we're good. Okay, so now, so again, here's mine. Scissors, copy machine, pencil, staple, staple, remover, tack. So now, what is our topic again? You, ourselves. So now you're going to take something you're familiar with yourself, and you're looking at it a different way. So you're going to choose one from your last column, and you're going to circle that. I'm circling copy machine. What if I don't like it? It doesn't matter. Yeah, you can write whatever you want to write in a minute. Okay. Okay, so again, you've got your last column here. Mm -hmm. So you're going to choose one from that column. Right now, that's all you need to do. Choose one. Okay? So I'm choosing copy machine. So you're choosing one and circling it. So the next step is to compare yourself to whatever you just circled. Oh, so I am a copy machine. So on the back of your paper, you're going to write a little sentence, a little paragraph. So this is what I wrote. Marie Brookerson is like a copy machine. I am hardworking, reliable, versatile, determined, and tired. Sometimes people try to take advantage of my specific skills and misuse me. If I get in a jam, I am thoughtful and precise about how to release the problem issue. The world does not revolve in black and white. And I believe that I am part of what makes our world colorful. Are you? Well, I'm an English teacher, you know, come on. Um, so, again, how are you like that last thing that you wrote? You're going to write that on the back. And we can use any of the Yes. Okay. No, 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 that last, that last one. Just the last one. Just, so how are you like a weightlifter? Oh, okay. How are you like weightlifting? Okay, so Omar, what did you have? You have, because you look confused. So you have handball. How is Omar like a handball? Okay, so now looking at this list, what words are competing against each other? What words are in conflict? So like fast and dangerous to me. They're conflicting. Um, sharp and rough are conflicting to me. Uh, strong and thin are conflicting to me. So you're gonna write those words over here. That's the hard part. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. So. Think of, so your B is a cartoon character. So what cartoon characters are round and in shape? <laughs> I 
How are you? Like that last thing you circled. Yes. I think. Yep. Is it a fruit? It is. Yeah. Okay. Like a tomato, huh? Yeah. The seeds are the inside. It has a giant seed. Bananas are fruit. Bananas don't have seeds. Bananas are actually berries. Yeah. They're actually berries. Are berries fruit? Yes. <laughs> Strawberry. Bananas do have seeds. They have them in the middle. In the inside, yeah. yeah. Those little black ones. Yeah. It depends. It's not okay. dry. It's not dry. Little bananas. Right. But they're still. Oh, okay. So now that you have these two, these. Okay, so now look at B. Junk food. So what junk food comes to mind when you think strong and thin? What junk food comes to mind when you think sharp and dangerous? Twix. Strong and thin. Twix. Yes, you put it in the last column there. What other sharp and dangerous? Oh, what, what is that? Um, that's not really junk food, but Captain Crunch cereal. Like how it shreds your tongue when you eat Captain Crunch cereal. I never or is that just me? <laughs> that's sharp and dangerous. Sharp and dangerous foods? Yes. Bugles. Bugles. Doritos. Doritos. <laughs> Sour Skittles, yes. Warheads. Yes. Pop rocks. Mm -hmm. No, this is a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let me check my purse. Okay. she wants. She's very adventurous when it comes to new things and hardworking to get things done. But Solera is very loving with all of her friends that she comes in contact with. Beautiful. Kyla. Kyla Edwards is like the book Dumplin'. I'm like the book because I'm hardworking, strong, caring, and educated like the main character is. We relate because we keep going even when everything tries to tear us down. Yes. It's a mammal. It's a fish, yeah. It's in the water. Yeah, it works. Okay, so why y'all are finishing up your sentence? So, again, this particular model of teaching would be good at the end of a unit, like I said at the very beginning. Um, so we might come back to this after we finish reading The Great Gatsby, um, after our AP test. Um, so we might come back to this and see if we can figure out some characters and how we could relate them. Okay, so hopefully you found out a little bit more about yourself today. Hopefully you looked at yourself in a different way. Um, so make sure you have your full heading on your paper. Make sure you have your uh, sentence written on the back. You will turn it in to me as we walk out the door.